Yo, 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 what's good, world? You already know, man, it's your boy, Gio. Back with another one, man. I got something crazy to tell y'all today, man. Um, It's about your boy, Dirk, man. It don't look like he's gonna be getting out, of course. Everybody knows that. And everybody knows that he's gonna be getting shipped out to uh, California. He had his court date today. But what I wanna get to is what's really going on so the no jumper podcast adam 22 you got brick baby they saying allegedly this is all alleged is what i'm gonna say they saying that he was involved with setting up quando rondo and lil pat and he set the location out from what they're saying is, they're saying that Dirk paid him to do this, whether if it was a hundred thousand or a million. Brick said that he wouldn't do it for a hundred thousand. He said if you wanted to get him to off somebody, you got to get him a million plus because of how much it's going to cost for court stuff alone. So that's just to let you know right there that he would be okay to do it if the price is right. And Dirk got the money. So if he set the price right, he'll do it. So that's just to let you know. And Dirk is ready for that get back. So they're saying that Brick Baby phone was confiscated. They're trying to figure out what involvement he had with this. And this is just to let you know. They wouldn't be doing this for no reason. I guess the No Jumper podcast money ain't good enough for him. He wanted to grab a big bag real quick to do that, thinking he'd just uh, get away with it and slide with it. But they said that he has involvement with this case, and that's not going to look good for him for setting people up, especially being in California if he got to do time. Then also, the one that's been wearing a wiretap, one of the OTF members, OTF Jam, they're saying that also he don't like Dirk, even though Dirk looked out for him when he got out, gave him a car, gave him a house, place to stay, gave him a bag. What he's mad about is when he was doing time, his wife slash girl was murdered in Chicago. Nobody cared to tend to that. Nobody wanted to get get back for that. They just only want to get back for King Von. And him being OTF, you know he's not taking that lightly for that happening while he's locked up. They saying that that's the rumor that's going around that that's what he wanted to do as far as that wiretap because nobody looked out for him when his girl was murdered. So that was his get back for Lil Dirt. Lil Dirt was at his birthday party celebrating with a whole bunch of artists. And afterwards he was locked up. This whole scenario is getting out of hand. All of these people you can't trust. They say, you know, like they always say, you can't trust some of your friends, man. You know, keep your enemies close and your friends away. You know, and this is a prime example of that. You know, this dude put Dirk in a bind, man. You know, with that wiretap. And like I said, there's no telling what's been on that wiretap. You don't know what they've been talking about. Dirk felt so comfortable. And he should know better not to be talking on these phones. The kind of bread that he got, he can afford to go pull up on these guys and have a conversation. And not be on the phone. That was one big mistake he made that cost him. Maybe his life. He might have to stay in there forever. His dad chimed in. His dad said, being Muslim, they don't talk. They don't rap. They don't snitch. So he's going to be doing his time faithfully without talking, which is respect. 
re respectful. That's how you're supposed to move anyway. But I wanted to give y'all an update on this, man. And um, it's not looking good for your boy, man. Um, the OTF Rico, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's in the works as we speak. They're gathering evidence from everything that they've been involved in before he had the fame. Y'all got to realize, too, Mama Duck ain't playing no games. She want justice for her son. And if that involves suing Dirk, which is she trying to do right now, putting that lawsuit out on him, that's going to make it even worse. Because that's pinning him to that as well. There's no other things that can go wrong besides people coming together to sue you for murders. So just keep this in mind. Imagine if she successfully do that lawsuit and it goes through. Imagine how many more people are going to come forward to try to sue this guy. Because they've been having so much beef for a long time. There's no telling how many people they done alive. So you can only imagine how many more lawsuits going to come out. This is going to be like a Diddy type lawsuit, but he ain't got Diddy type of money. But I got to say this too. Your boy FYBJ, man, he's whooping a little too hard, I say. I keep getting tired of hearing him talking about pushing peace. Nobody's listening to you, man. He brought you out to perform or whatever show that he had. And you out there and all you care about is holding a box of cereal. Talking about some whoops that are Fruity Loops or Fruit Loops. Pushing peace. Nobody's listening to you on that, my man. I'm sorry to say it. It's been a lot of bloodshed on these streets. And these guys are not listening to you at all. Then you have a nerve to go to O Block to support dirt. When you on the other side, so that means you had to have security out there, which he did. If you was that big of an OG, you would have needed security. You would have had your goons as your security out there. But you had to bring the police and you had to bring that cereal. That chain, man. Come on, dude. Some whoops. And you're going to bring the cereal out there in old block. So you basically promoting your business. In O Block, why you trying to support Lil Dirk and trying to push peace at the same time? Man, this stuff is all unorganized, man. This should have been a better plan to be able to push peace besides the way that you're doing it because it don't seem like it's working. My man, there's people still getting unalived out here on these streets. Like Q50 with Lil 50. It's a whole bunch of examples, man, since you've been trying to push this piece. I think you need to start bringing more of these guys on your platform to try to push the piece. And that's going to entail bringing two sides in one building. If you're really trying to push peace and not your product. So all I can say is moving forward, man. Think smart, man. Move right. Stay out the way, man. Gangsters move in silence, how they say. We got to do better than this, man. This is going to tie a lot of people down. And possibly from the other side, too. From this. So I hope everybody learn. When you're trying to do things like that, and you're doing rental cars under your business name, to do shootouts, knowing good and well everything is recorded on these street lights everywhere. They got you recorded. Well, the guys that you, the five that you sent out on camera, getting to where they need to get to, which is Quando Rondo's SUV. I want to tell y'all. Let's do better. Let's do better.
I hope Dirk can realize what he did. And I know he wish he could probably take this back to did a move that was a lot smarter than what he did this time, which he may not have a next time. So I hope he lived his bestest of life. Now, i tell you one person that's really standing out the way. Your boy Chief Keith. He is not getting in the way with anything. He's on his own time, in his own lane, in his own area, not creating no kind of beef. That's how you do it. That's one real Chicago dude that's still out here since this whole thing that started. This drill rap. So, I'm going to leave it at that. And I want y'all to check this video out, man. On everything that's going on. His dad's chiming in. It's a lot of people chiming in. Whack 100 got things to say. Academics got things to say. Brick Baby has something to say. Adam 22 got something to say. A host of others got things to say. So, hit them comments. Let's talk about this, man, in the comments, man. And you know, as always, man, I appreciate all your love and support, man. Everything, man. We're only going up from here. Let's keep doing it, man. Let's keep going. Let's run it up, man. Let's stay positive, man. To the next one, man. I'm out, y'all. Yeah, I am. Free man. Without telling. Without compromising. Without being someone I'm not. Rats. Stew pigeons. You know, people who tell things and get out. You know, this is the type of life. We don't live this type of life. You know, I'm a Muslim first and foremost. No doubt about it. But even in this, we don't believe in telling. We don't believe in rats. We don't believe in stupid pigeons. So for someone to try to tell you to tell on somebody else to save your own neck and all this, you get in this thing, you hold your own weight. You know, that's how people got to look at it. I'm in this and I hold my own weight. You don't bring nobody else into this. You don't tell on nobody else to save your own skin. Get out of it. That's not your lifestyle. That's not what you're about. Get up out of it. You know, when the thing hits, when it hit, the impact come in, you continue to stand strong. And you continue to go down for what you believe in. And don't bring nobody else down with you. You know, I like the love. I think it's a Jeezy. I like the little saying he's saying in his little rap song. If you ever get caught up, don't mention my name. You know, that's just one of the slogans I like. You know, and that's one thing people should take as an anthem. You get jammed up, don't mention my name. Don't mention nobody's name. The reason why... OTF Jam snitched on Lil Dirt. OTF didn't help when OTF Jam baby mama was murdered. So you lose your girl while you in a pen and you looking for OTF for somebody to go slide or protect and do whatever while you locked up because you not there to do nothing. And obviously nobody did nothing to save his baby mama or help his baby mama or figure out what happened with his baby mama. He had a hidden agenda already. In jail, OTF Jail was talking down on them, mainly Booney Mo. They was locked up together. So they caught a case together in jail together. They was not messing with each other. He was mad Lil Dirt kept rocking with Booney Mo and wasn't going to stop messing with him. He snaked out Lil Dirt because you see Dirk is paying attention and mad that Dirk was putting more time and effort into Booney Mo, he had Booney Mo around. And y'all see the rat OTF Jam. Y'all see his mug shot on his pictures and just look at him. He looked like he been through a lot and he looked like he had a hard time in prison. This is the reason why he snaked out Lil Dirt. Even right now to this very moment, bro, this is literally clouding my whole timeline on every social media that I got, bro. Like it's not even, it's, it's, it's literally for like no other blogs is talking about nothing else. It's just constant updates and new details about Smurf. You know, I was aware of this situation sooner than y'all was, folks, on Biddy. And it was like, even with before the news broke, just knowing the information I had before the, it, it hit the internet. All that slap for Vine shit, folks. All that pressure that people, not saying that y'all fans is the fault that all this is taking place for. I'm not saying that that's y'all fault, y'all fault. I'm just saying this the facts of the matter for a lot of people was, it was a whole hashtag and the movement started about motherfuckers rooting for get back folk. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers steady doing that, doing that, doing that. And now when certain shit and y'all find out certain shit could have happened allegedly, everybody talking about a motherfucker 
people crashed out. But what that means is that a federal officer called a judge last night because they thought Dirk was getting on a plane. And this is why I always said that what Vlad kept saying about Diddy should leave the country. Like, but they're watching Diddy. As soon as you're about to leave, there's going to call a federal magistrate. And the magistrate is going to be like, hey, listen, we think you about to run. Sign this paper now. They're going to sign it. They're going to lock you up. That's all they need. They'll have local authorities do a traffic stop or something, hold them up for a bit. They think you're going to run. They call into a judge. Hey, judge. Hey, this is our case so far, blah, blah. We didn't even get to the grand jury. We think this thing is about to depart the country. Now, there is something that's going to be an indictment, but that wasn't ready yet. And they had to get Dirk before he got out the country. I believe the feds were following him. And when they realized he was about to leave, they did the last step they could do, which is a criminal complaint to get him locked up. Hey, Trell and Tanya, Chicago-born rapper Lil Durk appeared before a federal judge in Florida this morning. He was arrested there Thursday in a murder-for-hire plot. Coming off his first Grammy win earlier this year, Chicago-bred rapper Lil Durk is now facing charges in connection to a murder-for-hire plot. U.S. Marshals took Banks into custody on Thursday in Broward County. Banks appeared in federal bond court this morning. Now, details about the rapper's arrest or charges have not been released were indicted by a California grand jury this week on charges of conspiracy to commit murder for hire. Banks' arrest comes just weeks after he was named in a lawsuit which alleges the rapper had a hand in a 2020 gang-related deadly shooting of a Chicago rapper, FBG Duck, born Carlton Weekly. Weekly was killed in the Gold Coast neighborhood by a group of masked men as he waited to enter a high-end store. Six purported gang members were convicted of carrying out Weekly's murder. Weekly's mother spoke with ABC 7's Karen Jordan after filing the lawsuit. Why is that? Because they got locked up with the informant himself. On too good, shorty. They got locked up with the FBI, big as a informant, gang. Think about it. They got snatched off the fucking, they got snatched off a private jet. Dude, them niggas ain't even had no real good ass lawyers. Mm. How the f you think they paying for a private jet, gang? Well, right after... Vaughn did. Vaughn did. Vaughn had what? Vaughn is dead, right? Okay, well... How the f*** is these niggas paying for a jet? At the time, yeah. Who, who the f*** got a jet fueled up and got these boys flew to Chicago in five hours? Who got money to do that? They ain't got no jet money, gang. I don't got jet money. Come on, bro. Them boys got snatched at the airport on the private hangar. Come on, bro. Uh, let's start the. Uh, they hate when we come together. Let's start the. Uh, let's start the. Uh. On July the 19th, 2024, a female postal worker was unalived on the south side of Chicago in the West Pullman area on 121st and Harvard. A 15-year-old ran up and unalived her. This postal worker is the baby mother of OTF Jam. This happened July 19th, 2024. 2024, this is just a couple of months ago. Everybody was wondering, why was somebody unalive her for no reason? They didn't rob her. They didn't take nothing. They didn't take no mail. They just unalived her and left. The 15-year-old was caught in Iowa. Now tell me something. This don't seem funny to y'all. This seemed like dirt paid. For them to go hit this man, baby mama. That's what it seemed like to me. Because he was disgruntled. He was talking about dirt. So dirt knew. Dirt knew he was being investigated. And on top of that, dirt was threatening people in OTF, his own people, only the family. He was threatening his family members. 
what he would do to them if he found out they was the ones that was snitching. I'm not making this up. This was in the paperwork. They said that Dirk was threatening his people. That's because he knew the feds was on his ass. I've been saying this months and months ago that they was going to lock this man up. He knew. I don't know, man. I can't prove this, but man, this show looking shady right now, man. This don't look right. A 15-year-old run up in unalive OTF Jam's baby mom for no reason. Now, it's got to be a reason. That's the wild hundreds, but ain't nobody running up on postal workers and unaliving them for no reason. Not even in Chicago. But you know what? If Dirk got anything to do with that, that 15 year old, he gonna break sooner or later. He gonna tell something. He gonna say the reason why he did what he did. Cause 15 year olds just don't run up and unalive postal workers. Inside the mafia. I'm out. No rationale. No, nothing. But we just doing what we're supposed to do the right way, bro. You know what yeah. And let the hype send you off, man. Talented be talented. You gotta keep it low. Shout out Booney Mo. I ain't, bro. I don't care what nobody think no more. I'm not, I'm not going, if, if you slap me in front of everybody, I'm not about to come kill you, bro. Not because once I kill you and you die and I go to prison and 15 years pass and I'm in a damn cage, everybody who said I went out bad for getting slapped and didn't do nothing is going to eventually grow up, get older and say he went out bad for killing him for, for getting fucked by the slap. I'll tell you, the 100% way of how Dirk Banks could get away with murder for hire. To, well, there's a few things. Here's the most obvious. Here's the most obvious. A couple niggas got to die. I'm sorry. I know. I know. The, the witnesses are the reason the primary there is no hot text from dirk i mean you i know that they've written down oh don't book no 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 my name but who like that could be be an innocuous tweet or or text to the person who books a lot of stuff dirk travels around and dirk is a motherfucking you know he's a guy who you know these guys book and check into places under fake names you do know this right because if you call up Obviously, maybe not a five-star hotel. Like, you call the ward off and you're like, yo, hey, is Dirk Banks staying there? Even if he's staying there, they're not going to be like, hey, hey, he's staying in 1405. Now, they're gonna, not going to say that. But, like, a lot of these people stay on the fictitious names. So, hey, I'm just giving you some ways you could try to explain this. We're, we're, gonna, we're trying to tackle the hard and fast things that have gotten him essentially indicted, Right? There's a few snitches. Now, I'm going to rule out this one guy as a snitch. Kavon Grant, not a snitch. His name is Otia Vani, okay? Who that is? Remember I told you Otia Vani was the guy who flew on the plane with Dirk. And as we go down here, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, Kavon London Grant. Um, let me see. This is private. This guy go private. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Based on my job, when we applied pressure last night on Axio, he wakes up this morning in a panic. He goes on there and starts running his mouth. Yeah, the feds came in. They took my cell phone, still haven't given it back. Right? If you go in there and look at that report, number four is a local guy that was dropping Kwando's locations. Oh. Slow down. Number four is a local guy that was dropping Kwando's locations. 
Now, after the murder, when Quando went back to Georgia, what did he immediately do? Dropped his flag. There it goes. What was he claiming? Uh, Roll 60 script. Where Brick Baby from? Roll 60 script. What you think the police told Quando? That the Roll 60s set him up? Who you think he checked in with? Roll 60s? With who? Okay, I see where you're going with this. That's I'm not, not, I'm not going to say listen, it. Listen. Yeah. Listen. I'm not going to say it. I don't know the hell of, how to work the Discord. I got it. I don't know how to. <laughs> Man, nah, nah, nah. Okay, listen, all right. So let's we have, we have Brick Baby here. So remember, we went over this whole indictment. Um, from what we came up with, we came up with that there's a person named co-conspirator four that seems to be a local LA dude. Seems to be a guy who, at least the feds even say, this is a longtime affiliate of OTF, which means he's not an OTF, but he's a longtime affiliate. We think he's local because he's the one that gets the drop. And then everybody comes to L.A. Okay, now, academics. Are, Let me... Wait, on, well, wait, go wait, ahead, go wait, ahead. Get off, get off, get off. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so pause, so people pause. then start <laughs> saying it's, it's Brick Baby. Now, I was... I didn't really know too much about, like, some of the... And even when you made that comment, we'll get to that. I didn't... Like, I, I know fans say a lot of stuff. Like, there was a time fans were saying, oh, yeah, no, you know... Because I did an interview with Dirk, and he literally said you can't say it no more. But I'm going to be honest with you. Wack 100, Loose Cannon, and 600 gave a compelling argument to basically that there were few co-conspirator four and that you were working undercover for the feds. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you just brought some on us here. Actually, you're not going to be leaving. What do you know, um, and what could you tell us about this whole thing, and are you cons- co-conspirator number four? Oh. Uh. So basically, if you look at the paperwork, right? Yeah. Uh, if you if you look at the paperwork, co-conspirator number four is somebody that was in a conversation on November six, twenty twenty. Did you did you peep that? Okay, November 6, 2020, co-conspirator number four was in a conversation, had a conversation with Dirk. It's no way possible it was me because on November 6, 2020, I was in jail. Uh, you get what I'm saying? So so that clears me out of that. I, you know what I mean? Like just that one of my fans pointed towards that to make it smoother and to the point. It's no way that it was it was me, and then I wouldn't be sitting here shaking ass. I I'd be somewhere else, nigga, tucked up, trying to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd be out the way. I, it ain't no way possible. I'm gonna just sit here and be this bold. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you. I'm glad you you said that. So to to uh. 1917. Well, he was never technically signed to him, but he was rolling around and like presenting as if he was signed to him. I say the money almost get decapitated before. By what? By OTF, nigga. Sheesh. What? Man, we was in Austin one year. I let them niggas tell the story, but we was on Cuz's ass. I didn't even know who it was. Cuz was out. They coming to pick me up from my hotel. And the dude right here with the dog. And they like, oh, that's bro. We get in the sprinter. And we get to getting real lurkish. Then the sprinter turns into a, a hot car. Yeah, they done got him a striker. Shit, nigga, he better be lucky for for the guys. From a that sprinter was... to a striker. Yeah, <laughs> a sprinter to a striker is crazy. He better be lucky that the game guys was on his side. He know. He know that, though. Oh, shit. I ain't going to talk about it. I can't I say no names and all that. But this when we was, this like 15, South by Southwest. Speaking yeah. of Texas, isn't that's it? before he even like had his whole run. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, yeah. Z Money? I'm like, nigga, damn. Last yeah. time I heard about Z Money, his head was on the platter. You had alluded earlier. Did Brick Baby just accidentally tell on himself and expose himself for giving the drop on Quando Rondo to OTF? Hey, you remember when we talked to Quando Rondo? Yeah. You don't remember? Yeah, when we did the Zoom shit, right? Yeah. 
No, Zoom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we ain't gonna talk about the FaceTime call. I wouldn't do them like that because you, you know we all talked about personal shit. Yeah, nah, we did that. You talking about the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. You remember that he said that the infinity, the infinity, the infinity. Remember, he like the same infinity that was right there. I seen the infinity again outside. I seen the infinity. They talking about I'm telling. Man, they been they said your ass snitched on dirt. They said you snitched on the whole OTL. That's what I said. I said that's crazy. I mean, yeah, man, I don't know if you've been tuned in, man, but I already just showed Dirk said the same exact shit as me in the interview. How the fuck I tell? Yeah, so the main shit is they saying cause like, all right, on the interview with you and Flacco, you you had said uh uh you basically just like uh you niggas gotta come with some other narrative than that, baby. You talk about a nigga telling. They got good paperwork for you right there. On the hood. And I'm free, nigga. On the dead of me. It's you niggas that be having the police, nigga. What I said in that interview, what I said, nigga, they don't say that no more. That's because the fans, nigga, used to DM me like, ah, you did that, nigga. They ain't talking about slide behind no more. Whoop, whoop. I was trolling. Playing like I had something to do with it, nigga. On the dead homies, whatever they got going on, is what they got going on, cuz on 6 0 Crip. Dirk said the same thing in his interview, nigga. On hood, who knew his homeboy was wearing a wire, nigga? On hood, this is Jay Reed and every cat, nigga. Opinion on the little dirt situation? Y'all wanna hear how I feel about the little dirt situation? I ain't saying he guilty. I don't know where the situation is. But if life is going good for you and you come for privately, we, we, we risk so much of our freedom, time, and life trying to get where we at. To, to put ourselves in a position where we can take care of our family and our responsibility. The best revenge was for King Von. I'm not saying dirt guilty or anything. But the best revenge that you could have got for King Von was stepping up and taking care of his kids. We in the way. We we do stupid stuff. Why is we? Why is we out here trying to continue to hurt each other? It's not gonna bring back. It's not gonna. What's done is done. Death is permanent. Like, go get his kids, take his kids, and put his kids in a position where they never had to walk in their daddy's footsteps. Like, I don't understand. Oh, I'm hit make sure I'm red because I don't hit like five people cars in the big truck. But man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I ain't it hurt me to see that dirt came so far in life just to end up in his predicament. Y'all rap about these things in y'all sons, showing that y'all know better and still choose to be foolish. That's how this internet is is destroying us because we're so caught up and run by trying to maintain the image. Trying to impress the people. Man, y'all crazy. Man, like people get on here and say anything, man, like because they want attention. We don't, we don't, we don't react to the positivity, we react to the negativity. I, I do it sometimes. But God knows, you know what I mean? Like, we gotta come together because at the end of the day, we our own enemies. I don't, I don't see no race treating each other the way that we treat each other. I don't see no race talking to each other the way that we talk to each other, behaving to, towards each other the way that we behave. Okay, yeah, you got other, you got Hispanic games where they, they go at it with each other, but you also got them, they come together and they talk and let them get into it with some black people. I bet all the Hispanic come together and ride on us black people. Let us black people get into it with some white people. I bet all the white people come together and ride on the black people. I ain't saying let's go ride on other races i'm just saying the way that they embrace each other in a time of need right now we need we need to start embracing each other because we're destroying ourselves we're destroying the people that are coming up after us i keep see people think i'm stupid i told you i might not i'm not i might not be educational smart but i pay attention to the things i go through in my life you know what i mean and i ain't speaking for the ignorant i'm speaking for the kids that they be watching me they may look up to me or they may want to understand uh, my life man I'm telling y'all like man hey man 
nigga dirt, man. That man multi million that man. Y'all, y'all talk about the ass Taylor story. If you don't mind reaching out to your fam. I keep it with you in a minute, bro. I'm for real, man. My feelings about this stuff, man. Time after time after time. We pray, we ask God to, you know what I mean? Help us out. Remove this from my path. Remove that from my path. And guess what? God come through for us. And what we do? We forget about God. We forget about the good that God do for us. God don't bring problems. This not God's fault that dirt is through that. That's, that's the devil work. We got to stop confusing God work with same work. God don't work to how the devil work. You see, in the Bible, guess what it said in the Bible? The devil told, I, ain't, I can't say it exactly how because I don't know how to read. Got to stick to the script. But the devil came to God and said, if you take everything away from whatever the person he was. You trying to give me time for some shit and it wasn't my fault. Judge, that's too much. I just need an answer. I can't be the only one. Just that's too much. And now I ain't perfect, but I don't deserve this at all. I ain't kill nobody. I ain't kill nobody. Judge, I ain't kill nobody. See, I ain't kill nobody. See. There's a report that Mama Duck is actually suing Little Dirk, his record label, King Bond's estate, their record label, and others in this massive lawsuit. Man, what do you think about this whole situation? When did I'm say? It happened yesterday. When it comes to um, Sheena, the duck, you can't take nothing. You can't nobody tell her nothing about her son. You feel me? That's the mother that lost her son. So she's going to go into the extreme measures to get justice and to get comfort with whatever situation it was. You feel me? As far as her son, why not? They do make bread off saying folks' name. It makes sense. Accuses the defendants of, of civil conspiracy, wrongful death, negligence, battery, assault, emotional distress, and other charges. And it sounds like they're trying to run the bag up on OTF, man. So what do you think, man? Man, like I said, that's a mother that's in pain, that's going through trauma, man. You feel me? Um, A lot of legal issues be going on behind Duck. Last week, Lil Dirk was celebrated by two West Suburban mayors. They even gave the rapper keys to their villages and partnered with his foundation. Now, after his arrest, one of those mayors is backtracking. The mayor here in Bellwood says he won't take back the key to his village until the legal process plays itself out. Meanwhile, in Broadview, the mayor there wasting no time and has already withdrawn the key to her community. Dirk Banks, or Lil Dirk, was honored and celebrated last week with keys to the villages of Bellwood and Broadview. And so on behalf of the village of Broadview, we are honored to present this key to the city to Dirk Banks neighborhood heroes. Both mayors were on hand for the ceremony and took time to pose for pictures. A partnership with the Rappers Foundation was announced in front of students from both communities. It, this is a momentous occasion to have Lil Durk with us in our communities. We, we want to give him another round of applause. But the symbolic gesture was met with backlash even before news of Lil Durk's latest arrest on murder for hire charges. So are we glorifying that or are we saying that that's okay? He's not even from this. He's from the South Broadview side. Mayor Katrina Thompson defended her decision to give Lil Dirk the key to the village at a board meeting earlier this week. I am a mayor and I'm proud to have made that connection. It just doesn't send the best message to our residents, to our community. Angela Patterson is running for mayor in Broadview. Janelle Moreland is the current village clerk in Bellwood and a mayoral candidate. You know, so what about the people that have been active in our communities that have done done some great things in our communities. After Lil Dirk was arrested in Florida, Broadview's mayor withdrew the honor, saying in part, as mayor, protecting Broadview's interests and upholding the values of residents is job number one. I do think it's too late. I think we should have not given him the key from the very beginning. Bellwood's mayor says he was surprised to learn of Lil Dirk's arrest, but is not ready to take away the key, saying we live in the United States of America where the accused is innocent until proven guilty. You think Mayor Harvey should have taken the key back? Absolutely. Absolutely. At least it would show my concern for my community, right? Um, at least it would show, like, I don't condone this. Both suburban mayors declined an on-camera interview. Lil Dirk donated $150,000 to Mayor Brandon Johnson's campaign, and when the mayor was asked if he would return the money, this is what he said. Mayor, what will you do with the money? Well, as, as I said, 
um, right now we have allegations, right, that he has not been tried. The mayor went on to say Lil Durk has been instrumental in helping children in Chicago. Hold on, hold on, wait, bitch. Oh, yeah, Sly Favon, right? Nobody. Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of... Wait, no, wait, no, no. Like, they who died? They say you can't say that no more. Oh, because of FVG Cash? Or who? Nah, because Lil Pop. Oh, what's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. That's the new term, uh, like no more slide for mine. Mama Duck is the winner. Even though she lost Duck, Duck was a street. With already the possibility of him going to be killed in the streets or going to jail. Mama Duck won. Mama Duck done buried a lot of children due to tragic accidents and murder. So, Mama Duck won. Uh, she can be free now. Even though she lost her baby home, she can finally be free in her spirit. Because a lot of that anger, a lot of that bitterness, bitterness can come from watching these people's careers soar at the expense of, 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 of her son. Remember what she said the other day when Dirk done that concert and put all of them up on that wall? That don't mean shit. My son first to do it, and y'all didn't even accept that when he did it. Had y'all accepted when he when had y'all accepted when he done it, maybe everybody will still be alive. That's a. And then you he know, knew Vaughn was a killer. Didn't him and Vaughn get into a situation where they had to shoot out, and and once Vaughn got killed, he he blamed Vaughn for the pistol case or whatever for the shootout. Yep. Nigga, yep. That, that was his partner. Don't even wear V Roy on his hat represent Vaughn. Yeah. How you blame Vaughn? What do we what? Did you see the, the latest breaking news on, on the dirt shit? What? What was it? What, what you got? Oh my god. So apparently Bro. the way they arrested him last night, you, you were right on the arrest. We gotta give it up. Why listen, why is not a hundred percent um I even apologize publicly for doubting whack one hundred and exposers. The exposers have came through yet again. <laughs> now, they said, so the, you know, the other dudes got indicted via grand jury, which was they yeah. had that indictment for a couple months. Now, remember, I was skeptical that Dirk was getting picked up the same day because his name not, is not on the indictment. We get yeah. to find out, you know how he got arrested? A federal agent phoned into the judge and did a complaint. So they're going to have a grand, they're going to have some type of grand jury stuff on him. But they said that they were monitoring Dirk and he had booked the flight to go to Italy. And they said, oh, this thing is running. That's why they locked him up last night. Yeah, they, book, they say he booked like three different flights, Switzerland over there. You the know place. the reason why they picked Puffy up Damn. a night early because his plane, his jet, landed in Teterboro. Yeah, no, that's a fact. That's, see, that's what people don't realize. A lot of people don't know that Puff rent the jet out. Before the money that was broke. Hey, 12 yeah. years flat. 12 years? About like 12 years. Did my time. Ain't told on nobody. Right. Ain't no fool shit on my name. So now I'm back. <laughs> and I'm living a life I never thought I'd live. <laughs> Why did you have to sit down for 12? I went to jail for a temp. Okay. Temp What's up? Like, he was one of the main, main motherfuckers that held you down your whole bit. Yeah, yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like my old time was yeah, I was straight. Yeah, because he, he's super solid, but like a lot of niggas like it. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said uh, Jam, get out that jam, I'll give him 50, he ain't got an axe again, bro. Jam, get out that jam, I'll give him 50, ain't got an axe again. He was catching murders way back then, that's when the max was in. Like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't got an axe shit, bro. He said he gave you 50, bro. You All know facts. what I'm saying? Like more than that. So can you tell us how much uh, he gave you, or you don't want to even? No, we ain't gotta give him time. Let but free a cop. I don't let him take care. Anything I need to take care. But look, Brick, they can't say OTF didn't slide for Vine. First time we ever heard this. You're the first one to ever tie them to that situation. You also tell 600 they gonna pick up Big U. He got a Rico coming. Some shit he got going on direct with himself. Right? Right. August comes, they pick up Big U. We wondering how you know this. Now you saying when they came in in June, the real warrant was for your cell phone. While they were searching for your cell phone, they discovered the K. Okay, great. So here it go. It's been 16 months since June 2023. You ain't been to court. Why? A thing where I'm seeing that there was a wiretap involved. That one of you got somebody in your camp. It says the feds have little dirt on wiretaps and making threats to kill those who may testify against him. Don't you know they, man, don't you know they got these phones tapped? You don't know that? God dog, man, what is wrong with y'all? You young dudes ain't never been through nothing because if you had, you wouldn't even be going this route. You know already, you, what is you talking for? It shouldn't be happening anyway, but the way you're doing it is sloppy. You guys are millionaires, man. You're throwing away everything, man. All this stuff you're going through, people have been through. I have been through situations where you guys should have learned from the people that came before you, but that's the problem. Nobody won't listen to the OGs. They'd rather listen to IG. You talking about by the slide from our comments. Still, I don't know if people still say it. They used to say it, but you also mentioned a song. They'd be like, they be saying Sly for Vaughn. I think they trolling me. Yo, by the way, them songs is fire. I ain't gonna lie. That's my reason. I just don't see the comments no more. Some odd reason. I don't know. Might be the water. You send them comments a lot? They kind of chilled out a little bit. I wonder why. We here though. We different in Iraq. I feel like you're speaking of parables. I'm trying to like decode it a little bit, but it's. I no, no, We have nothing to do with nothing. I'm saying that's like me just claiming something. I want to. 